Getting off US 127 at Frandor can be pretty dicey at times, especially if you're trying to turn onto Saginaw Street. MDOT is now looking into fixing the problem by getting rid of a lane. Fox 47's Carla Byron tells us how it would work. MDOT will be investing $200,000 in 2020 to remove the far right lane here on Homer Street, all in an effort to make the corridor safer. It is really scary. I mean, it's just a, real, a lot of high speed traffic. Tim Potter is a founder of the Lansing Bike Party. He and other bicyclists often cross North Homer Street near US 127 to get to East Lansing. So they just tend to drive faster. And so if you're trying to get across that, it's just it's just scary for, for people on bikes or walking, jogging. The State Department of Transportation wants to reduce crashes along the corridor by reducing Homer Street from three lanes to two, starting at Vine Street, then to the northbound US 127 exit ramp to Saginaw. Uh, and then vehicles that are traveling in the easternmost lanes, are it's currently difficult for them to see due to the location of the utility poles along the east side of Homer. So this lane reduction will shift through traffic to the west and reduce crashes by improving sight distance on vehicles on sellers. The money is funded through MDOT's safety program, which is split between federal, state, and city of Lansing funds. For Potter, the project is a welcome change. Anything that can slow down the traffic is, you know, in increases the safety of a roadway. The public will have a chance to ask MDOT staff any questions they have at the meeting. Reporting in Lansing, Carla Byron, Fox 47 News. The public meeting is next Thursday, June 27th at 4 p.m. at the Spicer Group Incorporated office on Homer Street in Lansing. It's between Michigan Avenue and Saginaw Street.